What's up guys, Prepared Guy here once again. Last week we did a battery challenge to find out which battery would last longest out of three different brand batteries. We ran the Duracell, the Railvac, and the Energizer extended life batteries against each other and the Duracell came in second place, the Railvac completely lost, and the Energizer came in first place with a runtime of over four hours, which was just exceptional performance from the Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery. So that's going in my EDC for um, bug out or just in general get home situations. So we ran that on the Olight i3 EOS, which has a runtime with a rechargeable battery of one hour and 15 minutes, and it has a runtime of 45 minutes with a regular alkaline battery. So we did that test again today with the EcoJuice 400 milliamp rechargeable USB rechargeable battery, and we also ran it with the Energizer Recharge battery, which has a a wall outlet that you plug in and you charge it and it takes like five hours to charge this thing whereas this eco juice battery only takes about two and a half hours three hours tops i've been using the eco juice batteries for a while so i can vouch for them i've been also using the energizer batteries for a while and so i can vouch for them as well but practicality i have to use what works the best and the longest now obviously if i throw the energizer battery in a flashlight for a while it's going to last a little while in general and then same thing with the eco juice they're both batteries they both work they're both appropriate they don't fizzle out before you get to use them um, so i ran them against each other today just to find out which one would last the longest in the olight i3 eos e e us I, they, they need to really just like call this the pocket pecker or something like that i don't give a shit, dude but just stop naming things so complicated i have to have it's like remembering the hieroglyphs and telephone numbers every time i name just stop it with the flashlight naming all right so anyway <laughs> guys um so i ran them against each other today and the runtime for the energizer was um one hour and 18 minutes and the runtime for the eco juice was one hour and 20 minutes energizer fell short for about two minutes in that scenario and therefore making the eco juice the winner of that battle now you would think the energizer would last a really long time considering that this is 700 milliamps versus uh, 400 milliamps and that obviously didn't mean anything when it came to throw down so with that said why did i do this test well i wanted to show you guys which regular batteries that are throwaway would last the longest and obviously it's the energizer ultimate lithium obviously a lithium battery is going to last longer than it than a rechargeable battery or an alkaline battery just, they're just better batteries in general that's what's inside most people's cell phones that last all day and so you know that's a a good safe bet right there now with the rechargeable nickel batteries you know I'm only supposed to get a runtime of an hour and 15 minutes from the Olay i3 e EOS, and that's 90 lumens of, of power of, of lum yeah, 90 lumens of lumens. There you go. And so, you know, it is what it is. I'm kind of glad that the Eco Juice won the battle, and here's why. Um, whenever it comes to my rechargeable batteries, I don't want to have to plug into the wall. I want to be able to use them on the go. So I have this sole user 25,000 milliamp rechargeable battery bank. I can charge this from the sun. I just set it in the windowsill. Within a day, it's halfway charged. Within two days, it's fully charged. You know, it's, it's a solar panel. It takes a long time for these things to charge up. And this is one of the ones that you can actually put in the windowsill or out in your yard or wherever you are and just let it sit in direct sunlight and it will actually recharge as opposed to those other ones who just kind of maintain the battery. So that's why I use this one. It's about 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys. But I recharge my USB rechargeable batteries in the USB ports on this and it takes you know a couple hours to recharge these batteries and i'm good to go for as long as you know there's juice in this thing to recharge them and so i cycle through this i can recharge these about 20 times like i said the triple a's are, are um, 400 milliamps but the double uh, a's are 1000 milliamps so you know it is what it is and with that said guys that is the challenge this is oh this is all i had to offer you guys today typically i use my s1r baton 2 whenever i use my edc but like i said you guys want to use practical batteries in a grid down scenario or just for your edc or your long-term survival uh, gear so with that said 
you know, I wanted to run this test for you guys so that you guys can see what's actually good out there. Because uh, there's people out there that go and they buy batteries and they, they'll go get the Railvacs because they're cheap. Like I said, I got the 48 pack for $5 last week and um, they were on clearance. And those, they, they last a while. I mean, they lasted longer than the runtime was supposed to be for the actual i3 EOS. And um, I was happy with that. But in all honesty, I want something that lasts a long time. So I obviously wanted to, you know, give a shout out to the lithium battery boys out there. Um, this is just great, you know, energizers over four hours. That's good. But with the eco juice, it's going to kick the crap out of the rechargeable battery uh, for the energizer anyway. So therefore, winner, winner, chicken dinner, eco juice, guys, I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys to check out if you want to jump on amazon or walmart.com or something and pick those up for yourself they're not expensive either i think it's like 10 bucks for like a four pack or something crazy and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i hope this video has been helpful to you if you haven't already subscribed to this channel definitely do it now If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please feel free to smash that subscribe button now and click the notification bell so that you can get notified each week when new videos come out. New videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This has been The Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.